So for question 7, with this diagram here, assuming that those are right angle triangles, find the exact values of these various cosines and sines of angles in this diagram. First one is ACB, A to C to B. I'll call that alpha just now, I'm not going to use it in this part, this is for reference later. Now when it comes to this triangle, I could scale that down. Instead of 6, 10, I could make that 3, 5. Notice it's the same as this. Those two triangles are equiangular. This triangle is simply double the size of that one. If I was to half that one, yes, it would change dimensions, but it wouldn't change any of these angles. Now, if you're not happy with that, I'll just stick with them the way they are, just to show how much longer, well, that's not much small longer in this case. So 6 and 10 using Pythagoras, 36 and 100, 136. That would be the square root of 136. Now 4 goes into that, obviously, because that's 2 times something, and that's 2 times something. So 4 into that would be 4 times 34, take the 4 out, 2 root 34, which means the cosine of ACB is going to be the adjacent, which is 10, I'll put it here, over 2 root 34, and then that will just cancel to 5 over root 34. Part B was, what's the sine of ECD? Well, ECD is this angle. I'll call that one beta. I'm not going to use it just now. Well, that's obviously the same as that. That must be the 34 then. So that's root 34. So ECD is going to be the opposite, which is 5. So it's actually the same thing. It's 5 upon root 34. Now it's the next one where the question goes a bit awry because it says, what's the cosine of ACE? That's this angle in the middle. Now because you've got similar triangles, these two angles must be the same in both triangles. So if that's alpha, that must be beta. And if that's beta, that must be alpha because you've got equiangular triangles. Not only that, if it's a right angle triangle, then that means that the remaining two angles must add up to 90. So if alpha and beta make 90, that means in this part here, if those two parts make 90, then that must be a right angle. And then straight away, the cosine of ACE is going to be the cosine of 90. And the cosine of 90 is 0. And for part B, where it says what's the sine of ACE, it would be the sine of 90, which would be 1. But I'm not sure within the context of the exercise if they wanted you to realise that simple piece of angle work or geometry. I think maybe they would want you to split it all up and say this, cos ACE, I'll do this just for the practice of the expansion, cos ACE is going to be, so A to C to E, that's this part in here, you think, how can you get that part in there? Well, it would be 180 minus these two. It's going to be cos of 180 minus the alpha plus the beta. You could write it out that way just given the names alpha and beta instead of the more cumbersome varieties there. And then using the expansion in that, you've got cos 180, cos alpha plus beta, plus, remember it's opposite, sine 180, sine alpha plus beta. Then you think of the graphs of these two, the cosine of 180 goes down to negative 1, the sine of 180 is 0. So that would just be negative cos alpha plus beta. Then expanding that, I've got negative cos alpha, cos beta, minus sine alpha. Look, I'll work here. Eh? Sine beta. So that's going to be the negative of, now I've got all these values all over the place, I've got them in here. So the cos of alpha is the adjacent. That's 10 over 2, we had over before, I can cancel it down. 5 over root 34, the cos of beta, so adjacent to the beta is 3 over root 34, minus the sine of alpha, opposite, so that's 6 over that, so that will be 3 over root 34, times the sine of beta, the sine of beta is opposite, which is 5 over root 34, and those two are obviously the same, so it's a negative of 0, which is 0, which is what you had before. Just an awful lot more working. But I put it down just for the practice of the expansions using the addition formula. And it would be the same if I wanted, for the last part, the sine. So for the sine of ACE, 
ACE again being this angle in here. Now I know from simple geometry, from the similar triangles, that's going to be 90. It might be better if the equation didn't have two similar triangles. And then you would have to have written it out like this, rather than having that part. But I think simply because from the context of the exercise being addition formula, I'm expecting that they want you to play around with the formula. Let's just play around the formula, even though you know the answer immediately is going to be the sine of 90 is 1. So what have we got? So we'd say, well, how would you get the angle ACE? It'd be the complete half there, which is 180, minus the 2 that you've got, alpha plus beta, and then expanding that. So it'd be sine 180 cos alpha plus beta minus cos 180 sine alpha plus beta. Then those two are exact values that you know from their graphs. You know the sine graph, the sine of 180 is 0, that part comes to 0. And from the cosine graph, the cos of 180 is negative 1. So altogether it's just come to positive sine. So it comes to sine alpha plus beta. And that expands to sine alpha cos beta plus cos alpha sine beta. Sometimes I can't help that. Sine of alpha. The sine of alpha is going to be the opposite. That's the 6 over the 2, so that's 3 over root 34. Cos of beta, the adjacent, 3 over root 34. Cos of alpha. The cos of alpha is going to be the 10, that's the 5 over root 34. And the sine of beta, the 5 over root 34. So what we have is, there's a room to fit it in here, we've got 9 plus 25, and root 34 times root 34 is 34. That's 34 over 34, which, no surprise, comes to 1 since the sine of 90 was 1 anyway. But that was good practice, just playing about with the forms, especially when you had three parts inside the brackets. So you had to do a pairing first to do the first split, and then use the remaining pair to do the final split.